Good evening. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here because as a public servant, your trust in our public institutions is the most important thing to me. Recent revelations involving the Tricentennial Commission in Centro San Antonio have pushed nonprofit organizations with ties to the city into the spotlight, threatening to shake one of the strengths of our local city government, public trust. This year, the city of San Antonio intends to contract with more than 250 local nonprofit organizations. These impressive organizations provide cost effective services to help address the many needs within our city. For this fiscal year, they are supporting organizations performing vital services ranging from job training to sheltering victims of domestic violence. This year, the City Council has budgeted $150 million to support these organizations. To receive these funds, each organization must enter into a city funding agreement, which includes provisions to protect against loss or misuse of public dollars. The city reserves the right to audit these organizations to ensure that these organizations and protections are adequate and in place. In fact, last year, the city or auditor audited many of these nonprofit organizations for compliance. I want to reassure you that the alleged improprieties are not the norm. Still, I am disappointed, I'm dismayed, and I'm angry. These kinds of events, even though they are rare, have the potential to undermine our work and distract us all from addressing the pressing challenges of our city. To help ensure that public confidence in these organizations is restored and remains high, I have asked the city auditor and the city attorney's office to undertake the following actions to present their recommendations to the governance committee. One, to review contract provisions and city agency funding agreements to ensure adequate protection of public dollars. Two, to create new contract requirements that raise ethical and transparency standards for nonprofit agency activities involving public dollars. Three, to recommend better oversight and enforcement provisions for the Ethics Review Board, the Office of Municipal Integrity, and the City Council Audit Committee, as well as a more robust process for responding to complaints. Four, to develop an annual training program for nonprofit executives and board members regarding their oversight responsibilities. Ethical behavior is more than following black and white rules. It requires an understanding as to how actions are perceived and whether they serve to protect the public trust. As I have repeatedly stated, it is my vision that the city of San Antonio should be the gold standard for ethical behavior and uphold the highest standards of integrity. But reaching that standard will require a firm resolve and a candid openness to self-evaluation. That's why I support and call on my city council colleagues to support a strengthened ethics code, as well as other changes that promote transparency, ethics, and disclosure. I'm reviewing and renewing our call and asking for your support to ensure greater independence of the Ethics Review Board, an independent ethics officer, and providing official sanction authority to the ERB for violations. I have instructed the Ethics Review Board to work with Common Cause, an organization that examines best practices in government ethics, and propose the policies we need to get this done. In the new year, we will consider many of these recommendations. Distrust of public institutions is a chief reason why citizens turn away from opportunities to engage and to move our community forward. These proposals that I have outlined tonight recognize that a strong city is an engaged city, and that starts with unimpeachable integrity and public trust, backed by strong ethics rules with real teeth. Finally, opportunists will try to take political advantage of recent events and tell you that our public institutions are broken, that your government does not work for you anymore. This is not true. Push back against those notions. Our democracy will break if we let those forces convince the public that our government does not deserve your time or your energy. In San Antonio, you have a city government that responds to you, that resolves its challenges. Under my watch, you will have a city hall that will make ethics and integrity a core mission and will work to improve our systems of government to earn your trust. Thank you for your support of these efforts and have a good evening.